Hello, my lovelies. It's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this problem. Given is a triangle with an inscribed semicircle. So here we have our triangle, and inside here is our semicircle. The semicircle's diameter lies along the top side of the triangle. So they tell us that this here is the diameter of our semicircle, and its arc touches the other two sides. So here at this point our semicircle touches the side of the triangle and here on this side the same. And the question is how large is the red shaded area of the semicircle? Okay, we have to find this area, I call it A, and to find the area of a full circle, the formula for this is pi times the radius squared. So if we only have half of such a full circle, we take this formula here and divide it by 2. This is the formula for the area of our semicircle. So we only need to find our radius to be able to calculate the area. So let's try and find the radius of our semicircle. They told us that this is the diameter, so half of it from the center here, this is our radius. And we can draw the radius everywhere here from the center to the edge of our circle if it helps us. This is the radius or from here to the edge, this is the radius or from here to this touching point here. We haven't used this touching point yet, but these are important points. And this is also now the radius of our semicircle. And we've built a triangle here now. Can you see the small triangle? And it is even a right triangle because this line here touches our circle, right? And this is a tangent line then, and every tangent line is always perpendicular to the radius at this touching point. So we have a right triangle here. What do we know about our triangle? Well, our radius is part of the triangle, which is great. The length of this side here is half of the entire side. So six meters divided by two equals three meters. Then we know the length of this side. We want to find out the length of this side. We don't know the length of this side though. But maybe we can find something out about the angles of our triangle here. Because this angle is also the angle of this large triangle here. And if we take a look at this large triangle, then we see that all sides are of equal length. So this is an equilateral triangle, which tells us something about the angles in our triangle. In an equilateral triangle, all angles are of the same size. So which size is this? Well, if we add all three angles in a triangle, we always get 180 degrees. So if all three angles are the same size, we just have to take this number and divide it by three, which equals 60 degrees for each angle in our triangle here. Okay, let's go back to our small triangle now. We have a right triangle and we want to find out the length of this side here. Now, since we know the size of one of the angles, we can use sine, cosine or tangent to find the length of the side here. So let's take the help of so ka toa to decide whether we want to use the sine cosine or tangent. For our angle, we want to find out the opposite side. So opposite is this O here or this O here. So we won't use the cosine. 
And we have the side that lies across the right angle. So we have the hypotenuse. So H is what we have. So no tangent. We use the sine of our angle then. Sine of 60 degrees equals the opposite side divided by the hy hypotenuse. So the opposite side is our R and we divide it by the hypotenuse by 3. Now we have one equation and we can solve this for r for our radius. We just have to get rid of this divided by 3. So we multiply both sides by 3. On the left side we get this expression then. And on the other side the 3 cancels out and only our r is left. Now you can type in this expression into your calculator and get a result or we just take this exact value and I wrote it down here again and now we put it into our formula from the beginning for our radius. So the area of our semicircle equals pi times, now we take our value here, write it down here because this radius has to be squared so we write it in parentheses and square it and then we divide this by 2. Now you can put everything into your calculator and then get a result of 10.6. We had meters here everywhere so we add squared meters for our area and we have solved this problem. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!